Hey guys, we're taking a look at Stellar, which is XLM, and we're taking a look at it versus Bitcoin mostly, but we'll also take a quick look at the USDT chart. But I want to take a look at Bitcoin pairing mostly because it gives us the best information, I think, in regards to not only what's going on right now, but what's going to happen. So starting off, we see two of the last three days, we've had the highest two closes we've had since back in June of 2019. So it's been in a range here against Bitcoin for almost 600 something days. And we're finally breaking out of that now, which is a very bullish sign. And I believe it's going to hold in this support range here. And when it breaks out of the support range, it is going to explode and we will see it hit the first price target here, which would be a 65% gain. And then the second price target is going to be up here for another 43% and then 51% for this final price target. So I'm seeing this in three tiers basically. And the reason why I'm putting these tiers here is because I see this is where it got, this was played as support before in resistance. And then this played as support and resistance. And then this was the upper resistance. And so the way I'm thinking about doing this is I have my bags here. I'm going to hold until we get to here. I'm going to sell probably 75% here, write it back down because I mean, I assume that it's going to hit this and come back down at least once just based on this. So, and I'll probably even just do 50%. I'll sell 50% here, write it back down, buy it back here, then write it up to here where I'll then sell here. I'll probably sell more, um, probably in like the 75% range, write it back down to here buy back in if it happens for with like half of it and then ride up to the moonshot up here, which I believe is possible, but I'm not going to say it's probable. Um, so that's why I don't want to over commit to trying to reach this one. I really want to make sure that these two make, make enough money so that by the time we're reaching this one, I'm working in profit. And so this is why I like to look at the Bitcoin pairing because the dollar pairing, you don't get to see this kind of, this kind of layout and to understand where the breaks are going to be. Um, so it doesn't really matter as much where the dollar amount ends up here because I'm trading it against Bitcoin and I'm thinking about it against Bitcoin. So that was just something I wanted to point out here. And so these are the three price targets. And then against the USDT, we've seen a, a lot of volatility, but that's expected because Bitcoin has been volatile. And that's kind of why I like to look at the, the Bitcoin pairing chart because it's a little more um, it's a little bit more stable. It's easier to understand. But the one thing we have seen on the USDT, USDT chart is a very clear trend line on the, on the logarithmic chart that it has pretty much has been climbing up. And I expect it to hold this trend line for the most part. Obviously pending uh, no major Bitcoin crash, uh, no mega nuke crashes, which very well could happen. Um, I've heard rumors that we could go to 42,000 on Bitcoin, and I believe that's absolutely possible. Uh, but hopefully if that happens, the Bitcoin pairing will go up as fast or faster than Bitcoin goes down and it won't be a problem. Um, so that's also another reason why I'm focusing on the Bitcoin pairing is because when Bitcoin is volatile, it's a lot easier to trade against Bitcoin and than it is to try to trade against the US dollar which is very tied to the Bitcoin price. Um, so this is what we see for the USDT chart. It's holding pretty strong. We have basically a few layers here as well. Uh, we probably will never see this layer again. We may get back down in this region again. We were in it a little bit earlier, but not really. I believe we're going to spend most of our time up, in, up above 55, 56 cents at this point. And so... Saying that I'm bullish on XLM, this is the primary reason why I'm bullish. These closes right here are all the reason I need to be bullish on XLM. Um, it's definitely going to hit that first price target at this point. I mean, I just don't see how it can't now that it's already out of this range. And it's going to be a very interesting ride. So I wanted to bring all this to your attention. Um, I wanted to make sure that if you got in, you understood where the price targets were. Please let me know in the comments below if you have any thoughts regarding this, any questions. And let me know if you have any coins you'd like me to take a look at the chart and give some feedback on. Uh, that kind of helps give me some direction on what to look, look at. 
So don't forget to subscribe and follow. And thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to making another one soon.